side the um so what did you what did you think was the most sort of i mean have, have you seen you've seen most of it you say i have yeah yeah i've seen i've seen the bulk of it but to be honest i i actually still think the the first one was probably one of the more compelling ones um just yeah. in terms of what you know we'll take we'll take it on face value in terms of the the, the evidence there so this was the one that obviously where on a um, Gunung Padang exactly um, the suggestion that in fact it was a you know much larger not only much larger set settlement <coughs> but also the fact that there were indications that it sort of was you know quote unquote impossible for the time based on the the, the structure and also things like the the rocks that were there that were actually nowhere you know not not from the region and had to be moved a very long way because there was yeah. like volcanic rocks and that kind of thing plus the you know seismic bit which does get a little bit uh a bit interesting which is sort of suggesting that there are actually chambers within the within the hill yeah. or within the mountain yeah i would have quite liked them to have dug down there and found out that would have been quite good well that i think that's the um that's the point isn't it i, th I think that actually from from a lot of the, the places he went to i think the the indonesian one um, he kind of you get the feeling you got the best reception there. I think they're quite they they'd be quite happy to have Netflix come and give them some money to go and dig dig down there. Whereas some of the other sites like Gebekli Tepe, for instance, probably not so much. That's that's the impression I got. But the um, what, what was, was your what was your thought? <clears throat> Yeah, I thought I thought, well. I mean, again, the presentationally, I thought the CGI and everything, the, the recreation of what it looked like, and the three sort of the chambers and all that sort of stuff was amazing. Um, it was great to great to sort of visualise that because obviously you look at it and you you know I mean it's just, it's a, it's an incredible thing to look at just you know from those opening scenes. It's just sort of all of these apparent columns just scattered around on top of this huge jungle jungly mountain which is quite quite impressive and I, I i mean i from a presentational point of view i did quite like the sleight of hand whereas obviously you know they're all uh sort of octagonal shape or, or whatever they are hexagonal shaped and that's the way the crystal forms um basil i think it is or something um but but i like that i like the fact that it, for, for a split second they led you to believe that they've been carved like that and then he and then he volunteers some science and refutes your preconception and says no this is natural and then you sort of go, oh hang on he's going to uh, he's not going to be pulling the wool over our eyes he's he's fessed up to that one from the from the outset um, which, which you know, it, it 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 might have gone over a lot of people's heads, but I noticed it straight away. Um, but uh, because it's it's kind of like, like I'm setting my stall out as a truth teller here from uh, from from moment one. But uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I th I thought that was incredible. Really, I mean, you know, just you know, obviously the the rudimentary nature of that civilization. Why would they bother? You know that's the point, isn't it? You'd have to ask yourself. There must be some higher purpose for for that. Uh, you know, not necessarily a real one, but certainly um, believed, widely believed. You just wouldn't bother. Yeah, you, you know, especially if your your main function is hunting and gathering. You know, you basically start the day looking for food, um, and hopefully end the day having found it. I mean, and then start again. Well, exactly, and I mean, obviously, the suggestion even in the show is that obviously it must. Be, well, the, the go-to is always it's ceremonial. It's essentially a temple, which people mm. will obviously even today, but <laughs> obviously even back back then would have spent a disproportionate amount of time on, even though you're pretty much a hunter gatherer and you never know where your next meal's coming from. Mm. So there's plenty of evidence of of that. So I don't I don't dispute the effort. It's just. The scale of it, I suppose, is kind of why yeah, would you? It's, it's mind-boggling, isn't it? I mean, it's you know, and and also, you know, presume this 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 um, civilization didn't have written communications or the ability to sort of uh, draw up plans and all that sort of stuff. So, I mean, it. You know, at what point did did someone say, right, that's finished now? <laughs> that's. That's, that's the thing I was thinking. Like, you know, that's just a couple more, couple more blocks. Bit more basil. Yeah, 
go and get go and fetch some more from however I can't remember how it is a while a while since I watched the first one. Um, quite a long, well, yeah, it's a it's long, long way, way away. It's like, oh, I'll see, I'll see you in three weeks. Go get some more basil. <laughs> Don't come back without any basil. But the interesting thing is, is that does it necessarily have to be a kind of you know quote unquote kind of unknown civilization having done done any of this, or is it simply that we just have misunderstood the level of knowledge and technology at that particular time mm. well he's, he thinks or he says that um if you follow the series through that what happened was obviously there was this cataclysm at the end of the last mm. ice age which raised sea levels and sunk a lot of the um a lot of the land mass obviously indonesia is a series of islands now but it used to be all part of the mainland called sunderland you know, not to be confused with the city in the northeast of england um, i think it's more sunderland um but uh so I mean, he he sort of thinks obviously there there was a lot more connectivity before the before this cataclysm and all the rest of it, uh, the younger Dryas um, event. Um, but but he he sort of says that then these emissaries from 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 this lost um, advanced civilization went to various different places and introduced civilizing technologies and even laws and architecture and all of that sort of stuff. And, and you sort of find yourself thinking, well. It is quite compelling because, um, you know, so many civilizations that are, that are completely unconnected have these flood myths. Um, but then, but then on the other hand, my rational brain kicks in, and I sort of say, "Well, um, water and fire are life-giving and life-taking elements, aren't they? You, they're going to cause you fear." But there seems to be something about one particular um event that, that that seems to have transcended most of these um the the civil uh, there's a lot of similarities and there's like the, you know someone arrives afterwards and all that sort of stuff to to help them out and rebuild society so <clears throat> you know whether that's Quetzal Quattle or Noah or whatever really it's so so there is that and you want to see those connections I think I, 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 weirdly enough, I think the flood connected flood thing actually has more weight to it than the, you know, um, very l nice bunch of people wandering around giving technology and and because you know let's face it when most civilizations meet each other across history it doesn't tend to be a lovely sharing of ideas for the most part so I I can no. I can definitely buy into the I could actually if he was literally the show was just about this shared sort of story this shared sort of well as he calls it memory mm. i think i could probably get behind that a lot more than the idea of this kind of more advanced civilization then going around sharing technology with others for me it feels like it could be for me it's more just like lost history and misunderstanding mm. you know and, and and assumptions based on what we're seeing today and that's half that's obviously that's got a, that's obviously the core problem of of archaeology in general is mm. you can only go by what you can see and like if things were lost as in literally the evidence was lost you're going to make assumptions based on what you can see in front of you and it looks like oh yeah they these were simple hunter gatherers we found some rudimentary tools you just may not have found the and things that were Quebecly less tepe. rudimentary yeah <laughs> Yeah, why would they bother with that? You know, that's you know, that, especially with you know, they they effectively, um, if if we are to follow the you know the 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 established timeline, they um, they built Gobekli Tepe before they started doing agriculture, which seems somehow the wrong way round to me. Yeah, you know, you've got a secure food source, so now let's build some stuff with all these rocks rather than let's build some stuff with all the rocks. By the way, we're hungry. We need to get food as well, it seems. So there is that. There's definitely something. There's definitely something awry with Gobekli Tepe, and it's quite, it's fairly new on the scene in terms of archaeology. So I think it has upended a lot of, a lot of their thinking because it's, you know, it's always the sort of agriculture first and then megalith building kind of kind of idea but that proves that that wasn't the case so so some you know are people just weird <laughs> is, that, is that what it is 
they're weird now, so they were probably weird. <laughs> yeah, then. Exactly. I mean, you know, we humans aren't known for the uh, for, for entirely rational uh, behavior. And that would be a completely irrational one, unless, of course, he's right, and it, it was a big. It was all built as a big warning and and for a forthcoming cataclysm from the comets and floods and everything else. I mean, it fits in that sense, but then so would a lot of things if you wanted to kind of make them up and fit them in. But 